oh wow would you look at that it's an album review right to your door right now we're talking about the sophomore album of the post-punk band yard act or they just recently released where's my utopia which i believe was released march 1st and is just to kick it off uh i think a great improvement on their first album uh overload which surprisingly was not overloaded with a bunch of stuff on it and honestly kind of got boring to me didn't feel adventurous kind of felt like your standard like cookie cutter like uh post-punk album that i just didn't do anything that really made it stand out or made you want to go back and listen to it so when i originally saw that they had uh, a bunch of these uh, this new album getting announced, uh, I wasn't that interested in it just because I was like, oh, the first one, how much can they improve on it? Because the big criticism they had was, oh, they're not improved. They're not gonna, or they're sorry. They're not adventurous enough with the sound. Uh, they don't take as many experimental risks with it. And it was just kind of frankly boring. And they took that to heart on this, uh, second album, which I love to see that from this band where they, truly truly evolved the sound and it's so night and day just to give it of some like background of it uh it's called where's my utopia and it just deals with this uh just with the way of the instrumentation which i'll get to in a second to the lyrics to how uh they sing in it of this concept of uh wanting this like utopia and finding out that it doesn't really exist which is this like melancholy depressing and moody uh realization that's in all the songs in it that i do like uh and it just obviously i said before just evolved from this uh bland post-punk uh in their debut album overload to like this disco bass kind of like uh dance punk sound that i'm a big fan of i dig the grooves the bass grooves in it uh i wasn't big on uh james smith who's the lead vocalist uh in the debut album and on this one i'm i'm a pretty i'm a, i'm pretty uh big fan of his lyrics and vocals mix well with it where he can go from this uh singing from this very uh not powerful but uh moody ambient sounds of like strain his voice of like this depressing energy to the spoken word almost I'm a big fan of it that I that was uh absent from the debut album and is huge hugely needed and added to this album. Uh and then I think the only one of the downsides I can say for the album off the bat is at certain parts of it it does feel a bit too grandiose with what they're going for. And when you have like this message of like where's this utopia I've been looking I've been looking for it, I've been told about it and it's not here when it gets kind of lost in the sound and the son and the sonic uh, space of just the strings, the cello, the violin, the viola, the chord progression, the bass, when it gets lost in all of that for long periods of time on some of these songs, it does make it hard to listen to, which is which was something that I did notice of it, which does suck for it. But I do think the instrumentation that they used in it, as I said before, the violin, viola, cello the strings they also had flute and saxophone which i didn't mention before but those are in there uh obviously bass grooves really ring out in songs like uh down by the stream that one just has some really good bass grooves that are amplified by uh, james smith's like the spoken word he does that i said before uh and they are they the, this album they were pretty self-aware at certain parts like they're one of their singles we make hits is so self-aware about the commercial popularity right now of post-punk. It's super funny to talk about getting signed by, like, a, I believe, a univer- one of the Universal uh, record labels. Uh, and it's, it's very entertaining and made it a pretty fun song to listen to. Uh, the, start, the starting song, uh, A Illusion, uh, has these, like, soft vocals of, like, these pain and strain that I was kind of mentioning before. And the latter half, it starts, it sets the stage of, like, this realization of there is, like, no utopia, this, like, bitterness of it, that there might not be anything out there. And it's very depressing and haunting at points, but it it just works very well. Uh, And then the other, one of the other highlights I can say for it is The Undertow, uh, the song, the string progression on it, amazing, the layered vocals between, and throughout this album, they have these uh, new singers come in for uh, certain tracks, which I dig because it just changes and makes each song 
pretty unique on it. This choir sound that they used on The Undertow and some other songs on there, but on this one, I liked it the best. Just amazing strings, obviously. 10 out of 10. Cannot praise that enough of the sound and how much improvement they did to it uh, from the first album to the second one, which I think after the first album, they didn't need to do a lot more to make it better, which I think, which is impressive of what they're able to do because obviously I will, I've, I've said it before now but I was not the biggest fan of uh the overload but this album I maybe would have rated it like a f- a three or a four honestly it just was boring to me it didn't stand out and on this album I have to rate it an eight just that that's what I'm giving it I loved uh the sounds they went with it this very uh groovy kind of dance numbery album that was that at certain points was a bit too much for me in terms of like when you're trying to do these like uh atmospheric uh not atmospheric uh what is it storytelling kind of albums and fitting this narrative of it you really want to get to the point with it at certain points or you would need the songs to be longer so at certain points whenever you kind of you start to get you get you kind of get the idea near the end of the song but you had to go through and wade through all like these other sounds, instrumentations, drawn out vocals that at certain points work and at certain points doesn't work. So I overall, I just li- I liked the album. And as I said before, I'm giving it an eight. Uh, very much ple- was very pleasantly surprised by this album. I enjoyed it a lot. And it's currently have been is a highlight already for March. And I think is one of the best albums that will come out from March, but we'll just have to let time tell. But uh, anyways, that was Where's My Utopia by Yard Act. Uh, I'll see you all later.